What's up everybody and welcome back to the Evolved Jeeping channel. This video is actually part two to the Color This Jeep Vinyl Wrap project. And if you're new to this channel and you do not know who I am or what this project is about, basically my name is Dan and this is my vinyl wrap project where I'll be wrapping every panel of this Jeep a different color. But the unique twist is I am not going to be choosing what color each panel is going to be. That is actually going to be chosen by my viewers, which means you actually have the opportunity to participate in the next polls to vote on what color you think the next two panels on this Jeep should be. For my returning viewers or my subscribers, you would notice behind me that I have a new color on this Jeep. And that is because I've actually already gone ahead and wrapped panels number three and panels number four. And based on your votes, both panels actually ended up being the same color, which was blue. And as a result, guys, I now have a red, white, and blue Jeep, which I don't know if you guys planned this, but it's kind of good timing because it is July 4th. And I also think maybe this was a little bit of a, a joke on me because now I get to be the Canadian driving around with an American themed Jeep on July 4th. So thanks guys. Thanks for doing that. I really, really appreciate it. I guess it's something I'm going to have to live with until we get some more colors to add to this side of the Jeep. One of the things that was very convenient about both panels being the same color is that when I went ahead to order the vinyl, all I had to do was order one single color instead of two different colors, which made it a lot easier and a lot quicker. So guys, in this video, we have a few things to cover. First, because I've already gone ahead and wrapped the two panels, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna show you a time lapse of the wrapping process so that you can see how it went and see some of the challenges I faced. I'm not going to say it, but there's definitely a section on this Jeep that I had to wrap three times because it was kind of above my skill level and it definitely took some learning to get it right. After you've gone through that time lapse, I'm then going to show you the end results so you can see how, what the panels look like. I'm also going to announce who was chosen to have their names put on both panels. Once we've done that, we're then going to announce what the next two panels are going to be for the next poll so that you can submit your votes to determine what colors we're going to be adding to this color scheme. And now that we've wrapped the fourth panel in this project, we now going to announce the winner of the first giveaway and then announce what the next giveaway is going to be. So guys, let's go take a look at the time lapse and then we'll come back to show you what the panels look like.
Starting with the passenger rear body panel, everything turned out really nice. I actually ended up wrapping inside the door jams as well, which was definitely a big challenge to do, but I have to say it turned out really nice. I'm very happy about the end result. Definitely pleased at the way this turned out. I went along the bottom here, and we did inside this doorway all the way around for this one. So you had here, all the way up through there, then down, back around to this side. And yeah, and then we continue around to the back. You can see it's a nice smooth finish. Not too many issues, a few. It's definitely not perfect, but it definitely turned out. So guys, the this was definitely the hardest section around here. This is the part I had to do three times, but I think it turned out, I did have to seam it in one spot along here, but you barely notice it. So the lucky person that was drawn for this panel is Jeep Builds. So that is the lucky person who has their name put on this. And as you can see, we went with this ghosted effect where we actually put the letters underneath the vinyl wrap and then wrap over it. And I'm very happy about the way that turned out. I definitely have to thank one of my viewers who suggested that as an option. The next panel that we wrapped is the front driver's side panel. So this started up here at the front, went along the hood, all the way down. For this, we had to remove the fender, the vent light, a lot of things we had to take apart to achieve this one. This runs down along the rockers. We did add this panel into the front panel. Originally, that was actually part of the back one, but I liked the split being right in the middle then up here, so that's why we decided to add it in. With this, we also vinyl wrapped inside the door frame, and you can see it looks great. Turned out awesome, and we up and through here. So the person who was chosen to have their name put on this panel was Cat WS Saints. So she was the lucky person chosen to have their name put on for this panel. As you can see, those panels turned out pretty good. I am not a professional, so they are definitely not perfect. There are some flaws here and there. But for somebody who's learning with every panel that he does, I think they're pretty impressive. Look, I didn't have to go ahead and wrap the door jams, but it was something I wanted to try. And I think it worked. We're gonna have to see how they do over time, if any bubbling or peeling occurs, but I think I did a pretty good job. Um, let me know what you guys think, comment below. Now that these two panels are done, we gotta go ahead and submit our votes for the next two panels. The first panel that you're going to be submitting your votes on is for the passenger rear door. And then the second panel is going to be the driver's side rear body panel. This time to submit your votes, we're actually going to be doing it a little bit different. And that is because we noticed an issue with the Instagram stories where it was not allowing people to vote. What we're going to be using this time is survey monkey. So what this means is you have to click on the link above or the link below in the description, which will take you to the SurveyMonkey page where you'll be able to submit your vote for both panels. 
yes, we're going to be running the poles for both panels at the same time. So all you have to do is select the colors you want for both those panels and input your Instagram username so that your name could be drawn to be put on the panel if you selected the winning color. So guys, make sure to click on that link to submit your votes today. You only have four days to do so. Now that we wrap the first four panels on this Jeep, we can now announce the winner of the first giveaway, which was for the $100 gift card to Daydonuts Enterprise. The winner, which was selected using a name draw app, is the Jeep Boss 2710. So I'll be contacting you in the next few days to get your information so that I can get this gift card sent over to you. So this means we now have to announce the next giveaway. The next giveaway is sponsored by XK Glow Lighting, who has generously donated a Jeep fifth wheel light. This is a pretty impressive product. It has a lot of built-in features. It has brake lights, running lights, reverse lights, chasing turn lights. I have obviously not opened this product because it's your prize, but I have checked this product out online and I have to say it's really cool. This is designed to work for both the JL, JK, and TJ. So that means there's probably a lot of you that could use this on your Jeep. So you wanna make sure that you enter this giveaway. To enter this giveaway, what you're gonna to have to do is go to the Evolved Jeeping Instagram page, and there will be either a post or a reel for this item. You're gonna click on that, and in there, you're gonna see the three requirements that you're gonna to have to do to enter the giveaway. They're gonna be the same requirements as the previous giveaway. First, you're gonna to have to have submitted your color choice on what color one of the four panels is gonna be. Then you're gonna to have to follow Evolved Jeeping and XK Glow Lighting. And then finally, you're gonna to have to comment on that post and tag three users. Overall, very easy to do and not difficult at all. So make sure to follow those requirements to submit your entry today. The winner of this giveaway will be announced when the next four panels have been wrapped or when the eighth panel on this project has been completed. As we have wrapped the first four panels on this Jeep, you can now see how this design is starting to come together. And what's unique about this is you're actually gonna end up with two different looks for each side of the Jeep. You're gonna have one look for the passenger side and then a completely different look for the driver's side. I'm super excited about this and I can't wait to see what colors you guys end up choosing for the next panel. As a reminder, guys, we are not running our poll through the Instagram stories that did not work. We are gonna be running it through the external link. So you have to click on the link above or the link below in the description, which will take you to the polls where you can submit your color choice for the next two panels. Reminder, this poll will only run for four days. So as soon as you see this video, make sure to submit your votes. Also, make sure to share this video so we can get more people involved in submitting their votes. At this time, guys, I am gonna wrap this video up. If you have anything to comment about this project or anything I showed in this, feel free to post them below and we can talk about it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I'll do the best to answer those. As usual, guys, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Keep evolving, and we'll see you guys on the next video.